friends welcome back to my channel today's video I'm just going to show you guys what decorations I put out for Christmas this year I did not decorate the entire house only because I'm used to half the size house and it's just a lot so I just picked up a few new things nothing crazy not all the rooms are decorated only a few things here and there and I think it's how I like it for this year this is gonna be our first year that we aren't gonna be seeing family at all so it's gonna be a little bit weird and I try to make it as homey as possible so hopefully you guys enjoy it I also snuck in a ginger snap recipe and because I I made it for my work I mailed it off actually today so I'm excited and I also saved some for myself but that recipe is in this video so I hope you guys enjoy it that's gonna be the only two things decorating and ginger snaps but it's very exciting and I don't know if you watch my grocery hauls, but in my grocery haul video, I said that I'll now be doing grocery hauls every other Thursday, and the Thursday in between, I'll be doing what's for dinner videos, so look forward to those. I'll be posting those on Thursdays, and Saturdays I will still be uploading, but it'll be different than grocery or meal-related things. So I hope you guys stick with me. Please subscribe, like this video, and let's get on into it. The only decoration that I added up here was this little flocked Christmas tree for the man cave. I added the ornaments I've gotten him over the years, the little swoosh ma mascots, and then this one from when we won the Super Bowl. That's Ertz. This is a breakable one, so be careful with that one. And it is lit up. But of course I have a lamp on so you can't see it. And I also added this eagle snowman that we got in Virginia at a seafood festival a few years ago. And then of course the eagle stocking is hung up on the ledge and another little eagle snowman. And that's it, that's all the decorations in this room. And in our room, the only decorations that I added was this um, red, green, and tan pillow. I put a red bow in the wreath up there, and then I added this little Christmas tree with a red bow on my nightstand. I might get a closer view. So just really simple decorations there. And on the window, I added a Merry Christmas banner just to give it some more red. I just added this sign that I got from Target last year above this little area, and I put a bow on top of the basket, that garage stuff basket, just to add more red into the kitchen. And then over here, my utensils, I just added a Merry Christmas spatula and a red and white spatula from Target. They're just for looks, not for use, as you will see in the ginger snap recipe. And then I added a Believe little kitchen towel and a little Christmas tree kitchen towel. Here on my Keurig, I have my new Rudolph coffee mug. It's really cute. I actually do use it, but it also goes as a great decoration. And then I have Bose dog treats in this little cute little container. And then in this tin um, container is the ginger, the extra ginger snaps that I made for us. In the dining room, I have this sign. I just got this from Walmart yesterday. It was only $18 and I thought it was really cute. And then in the centerpiece of the table, I added a tray with some flocked Christmas trees, a little sleigh with a candle, and this thing that actually lights up as well. I'll show you everything at nighttime lit up. Also in the kitchen, I have this. This is actually a cookie cutter from Target last year, but I like it. I added a bow and added it to the wall. And then I also have our mistletoe hung up in this little entryway. And then over here on the lanterns, I just added red bows to them. Inside of the living room, I added a sign that I've had for quite a while. It's one of my favorites. And I had these as little decorations, so they looked cute hanging over the chair. And then I have my little nutcracker here with some of my glittery Christmas trees. It's just a fun little thing for the island. Not island, bar So in the living room, by this tall mirror. This mirror was in the corner, but I moved it over here because the Christmas tree is in the corner. And I just added a basket with a blanket and that's a new pillow that we got from Walmart this year. So I thought that was a really cute addition to go with the blanket and the basket. 
And then on the TV stand, I added our stockings on this side of the stand. And then over here, I have our Christmas card from last year. That little Christmas tree is actually from the thrift store. This little house car thing is from Target last year. It's really cute. And then a lantern. And then just I added a bow to the basket. And on this side is Bo's stocking. And there's Bo. And on the coffee table, I just added this little Christmas tree to the little tray. We have a buffalo plaid pillow. I added a lit up Christmas tree over here. And then that little snowflake jar thing. And then on this couch, I have a Christmas tree pillow and a let's cuddle, piddle, a let's cuddle pillow. And then the ottoman, I draped over a red blanket for a little added of color. And then here's our beautiful Christmas tree. And our Santa. We love the Santa. It has music as well, but I don't have it turned on. And our Christmas tree looks a little bare because I can't put all the ornaments on because Queso likes to get inside of the tree. So I don't want anything to break. So there is our living room, and I'm going to show you what it looks like with all the lights off. By the door, I have this adorable nutcracker. I got this from Sam's Club this year. It is guarding us. It is the cutest thing ever. Here's the bathroom. This is the only bathroom that I decorated. I just added some green and white little decorations I got from Target last year. This is a random ornament from Target. I did these trees that also light up. And then this little sign that actually has different signs you can flip through, but that one was my favorite. I added buffalo check rugs and a buffalo check towel just to tie it all together. So that's the bathroom. Okay, here are the ingredients you are going to need. You need half a cup of butter, one cup of sugar, a third cup of molasses, one egg, one teaspoon ginger, one teaspoon cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of cloves, half a teaspoon of salt, one and one half teaspoon of baking soda, two and one, one fourth cup of flour, and then an additional half cup of sugar for the end when you have to roll it into the, roll the dough into the sugar. So those are all the ingredients you need. First step, preheat your oven to 350. Okay, next we're creaming our half a cup of butter with our one cup of sugar. I kind of melted the butter a little bit. It's okay, everything's fine. So we're going to combine this together. Okay, our butter and our sh sugar is all mixed together. So now we're gonna add in our egg. And then once that mix, mixes in, excuse me, mixes in, then we'll add in the molasses. Okay, I added my molasses into my KitchenAid as it was mixing, and as you can see, it looks like a hot mess. So I'm just gonna go around the sides with my new spatula from Target and, <laughs> and scrape the sides down. It is so sticky, so it's okay. Just gonna scrape all the sides down and then mix it again until it's enough incorporated. Get all sides. Okay, my molasses is pretty much mixed into everything. Now I'm going to add, that was the third cup of molasses by the way. Now I'm going to add in all my spices, my ginger, cinnamon, cloves, salt, baking soda, and flour. Everything is mixed in there, but as you can see, the sides are kind of sticking. So again, I'm going to go with my spatula and take the sides down, and then I'm going to start rolling it into one inch balls. My dough is kind of, it's really sticky because molasses is really sticky. I'm just trying to form it into a bigger, like together as a, in a ball. But I wanted to make a side note about this new spatula I got. I shouldn't have high hopes because it was a dollar, but it's so flimsy, it's driving me crazy. I can't even get the stuff off the sides. So I think it's more for decoration. Just wanted to point that out. So I formed the dough into a kind of a ball in the bowl. 
I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes so it kind of hardens a little bit so it's easier to form balls with my hands because if you try to form a ball when it's too warm it'll just melt in your hand. So I'm going to put it in the fridge and then I'll show you once I roll it out and what to do once you've rolled it. Now the dough has been chilling in the fridge for a few minutes. I'm rolling it to one inch balls and then you just put it in a bowl of sugar and roll it around. You want it to completely be covered in sugar and then put it on a nonstick baking sheet like that and then press down a little bit. So just do that with until all the dough is gone. Okay, I rolled out all of the cookies. There's 24 here and I flattened them down after I rolled them out. I have a little bit of dough left so I'm gonna um, prepare a smaller baking sheet for that and I'll just keep those and then I'm gonna send these to work. So I'm gonna get these in the oven and they go in the oven. 350 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes. This is how they look when they come out of the oven. Beautiful. And then the, they're really hot, but the bottom should be a nice brown color. I'm gonna flip one over for you. Beautiful. And they're gonna set the longer they sit out. So I had mine in for exactly 14 minutes and it seemed to be perfect. So there's ginger snaps. These are the other ones I made. They look different, I think, because they weren't they were on the bottom rack, but they're more done. So, still just as yummy. Now I'm just putting them onto a cooling rack and I'm gonna let them cool before I put them away. Okay, I know I look really shiny in this lighting, but it is what it is, I'm sorry. That's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to insert now a clip of how it looks when there's no lights on and I'll also include a clip of the outside of the house because Lou put up lights and they're really pretty. So I'll go outside now and take a video and show you guys what the house looks like. But that's the end of today's video. Don't forget on Thursday will be a what's for dinner video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below. And I'm sorry I'm not doing a full vlogmas. This is the best I can do. I do work full time during the day. So like I said, please subscribe, like this video, and I thank you guys so much for watching.